Are negative thoughts keeping you from taking the spotlight you deserve? Well then make sure that you check this out. People are always surprised. They think I'm an extrovert. And they call me a natural. I hear that all the time. <gasps> You're such a natural on camera. You're such a natural on the microphone. Yeah. And that couldn't have been further from the truth. Hey, it's me, Michelle, again with Dare to Dream School, giving you another clip from my interview on the Fearless Female podcast by Paola Rosser. This time I'm talking about how you can get stuck in this script or this idea and these negative thoughts can keep you from taking the spotlight you deserve, whether that's being on stage or being on camera. It's really important to be in the right mindset. So if you're looking to push out negative thoughts, make sure you check out this story. Now I can look back and realize there were many times when I was pushed to realize my talent. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, I was not listening to those voices. I was focusing on the negative voices yeah. in my life. Because the negative voices are there and they're permanent and they are yeah. daunting sometimes and it, almost yeah. can paralyze you from stepping into your true self. Well, a lot of times people nowadays are afraid to get on camera because they're afraid of the mean comments they're going to get. Yeah. And even a big YouTuber or a famous person will tell you there'll never come a point where you are just numb to comments once in a while something will get through and it'll it will hurt your feelings you know yeah. it's, it's hard it's that's it is the human trolls nature. are out there <laughs> it's, it's human nature that no matter how much praise you get yeah it only takes one mean comment or one negative comment and then we fixate on it for oh, some yeah. reason and Absolutely. it'll bother us for days right and and that's how it was just feeling like i deserved the spotlight growing up now I can look back and realize there were people rooting for me. Yeah. You know, I had a choir teacher and she gave me a solo that was meant for like an older kid. Wow. And uh, it was just like one of the scariest moments of my life. And, and, and yet when I was ever feeling lack of confidence as an adult, did I remember that time? No. I always thought about the time I was a teenager and I had a choir director make fun of me in front of the whole class <gasps> and tell me I was slow. Wow. And he said it as a quote unquote joke, but it always stuck with me. Let's say his name on air. No, no. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> nice maybe he, i think he was frustrated with me at the time yeah but teachers that mm. is not your responsibility because they don't understand that just one negative comment can literally pierce your soul forever and yeah. ever i mean you're i don't want to say your age but you're obviously haven't been in school for years and it's like it, you still remember that mm -hmm. and it, you probably could still picture yourself standing in the middle of the classroom and being made fun of in front of the entire class right oh that makes me hurt for you. <laughs> it's, you know, but it's, it's in the past and I didn't realize how much I was holding on to the past, but also how I had painted this narrative mm -hmm. in my head. The story you're telling yourself. The story I told myself was people don't think I'm any good. Yeah. I'm not any good. I don't deserve to take the spotlight, but I'm creative. So let's find another way to be creative. So I'm going to be behind the camera. <laughs> yes. And that's not to say I don't love film. I love being a filmmaker. I love telling stories. I mm -hmm. do. And I'm so glad I learned these very valuable and lucrative skills. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I didn't realize when I was learning them in my earlier YouTube years, I didn't realize it was a way for me to continue hiding. Now, it's not just negative thoughts and negative mentality. It can also be fear that keeps you from hiding from the camera, from the spotlight. So make sure you check out this last clip from the Fearless Female podcast where I talk about learning to face your fears and how I actually hid behind the camera as a filmmaker. A lot of people don't know that and how I was able to overcome that. So make sure you check out that video, Dare to Dreamers. Bye-bye.